Hey, what's up guys? Thank you very much uh, for being on Electrica. Now, have you ever wondered, uh, you know, how you can energize this contactor in four different positions or even more than that? All right. So you can control this contactor in four different positions. Now, this is uh, kind of vital, uh, especially if you have a motor or a drive, which you want uh, to be controlling in different positions. Now, this circuit, uh, it can also, uh, first it may work in the workshop where you have uh, that, uh, you know, one drive that you may want to have multiple start and stop, all right, which you can put anywhere. Anyone can start it in any position, all right? Then at the same time, uh, you can also, if you're, con if you're using this kind of setting to control uh, multiple security lights, okay? Also, you can do the same. You can have this setup, uh, a start, a stop uh, in different positions, okay? Whereby anyone, anywhere can, you know, uh, start and stop uh, the circuit, okay? So, let's see how that works. You see, these are four starts and we have two stops but you literally would have a pair okay so you can start in any position okay that's it but before we go any further let us uh, look at the board a little bit okay All right, so I have a board here. I want us to understand uh, this circuit very well. So I'm going to draw uh, my connection right here. Okay, so I have I have a stop button here because we have two in this demonstration. I'll draw two of them here. Normally closed did not did, denotes the stop button because it's closed. Okay, so now I'm going to draw the four. Okay, now I'm going to draw the symbols of the four uh, starts. Okay, so I'll have the start here. So I'll have start number one. The start is always open. Okay. All right, so I have four uh, start buttons right here and two stop button, as we have seen uh, right here. I have two stop button here and four start button. Okay, so let us draw our contactor coil. Okay, so we can draw our contactor coil first. We can have our normally open contacts, which is supposed to, to, to give us the holding position. And we can have our coil here. Okay. So this coil, this here, we can have uh, A2 and this is A1. All right. So what you've seen in the box here, this is how the flow of current will be. Okay. So let's connect this. Well, first, these uh, start button is will be connected in parallel, all of them, okay? So, the start button is with, with the first thing, you connect them in parallel, okay? One side together, one side together, all right? Now, the start button, we connected, we connect in series, okay? So, like that. So, uh, stop, series, start, parallel. All right. Now, let us connect this together. Okay. So, like that. So, the stop button is in series with the start button. The four start buttons are connected in parallel. 
the two stop button are connected in series okay so now we have our normally op uh, open here on the contactor which will help us uh you know to to do the retaining okay or the holding position all right okay now let's see what happens so we want this contactor to energize immediately so we will have a one connected right there and then we have a neutral okay and then here we have a l so you realize that if you press one of these buttons okay this contactor will energize all right if you press this the first one here definitely there will be current move here and then this will energize but there will be no holding position okay it will not hold because we've not connected that one so what we do we will connect here and then this side we we'll connect right here okay so once you close this contact here one of the four contact the contactor will energize okay now after you release this button here because this will be closed our current now will get the second path you see like that okay so uh as simple as that So that's exactly what we have uh, done here, okay? So these four buttons are connected in parallel, okay? And we can see that right here. So I want us to, uh, to see that. So you realize that these are the four buttons, okay? Which you see that we have connected uh, in parallel okay just the same way our diagram was suggesting all right now uh we have one side that goes to a1 okay so if you realize we have our input here which is this okay and then right here we have our output of this uh, of the start button is which connects this end all right okay so that's why you're able to start the contactor in different positions so that's how it's done okay if you have any question put it in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I'm out.